My childhood friend Eddie was an energetic boy. He made the most interesting drum rolls on the dining table. To me, he was a musician, but adults called him different. As a child, I didn't understand what this meant, and it was only when I became a classroom teacher that I realized Eddie may have been autistic. I belong to an Asian culture that has no tolerance for being different from the norm. The stigma attached to autism puts many parents in denial, and is never really confronted. The Centers for Disease Control states one in 59 children in the United States have autism spectrum disorder, and yet in Asian American households, less than one percent of those with autism are treated. In countries like South Korea, researchers argue that autism is underdiagnosed, and this is also the reality I faced in my own classroom. When I was a general education classroom teacher, one of the challenges I encountered was working with students like Eddie. I struggled to make instructions and modifications that were effective to help Eddie. However, I lacked the skills, and my school wasn't there to back me up. Like most teacher education schools in North America, I took one course in special education, and that wasn't enough to prepare me for the real world. It broke my heart that there was nothing I could do to help the many Eddies at school. I became restless, and so I switched gears. I found the potential in technology to help students and teachers, and this is what I do now. At A Project Lab, we create education apps not only for the typical learners, but especially for children with autism. Technology holds the promise of being effective, where traditional methods have failed, because it can provide an intervention that is customizable to fit the needs of the learners. Individuals with autism are characterized to have core deficit in social and language skills that vary in severity. Symptoms and conditions vary from person to person, but living with autism is simply just another approach to life. One way to understand this is through memorization or long-term memory. My childhood friend Eddie had the best memory in the world. He was able to remember exactly what he wore on a specific day. However, this was counteracted by poor short-term memory skills that made him lose his homework and his school bag every day. However, one of the greatest challenges autistic children face is the disconnect they have with the real world. They are unable to identify abstract concepts in real life. Let's say, for example, I'm teaching a group of students what a circle looks like. The main method of instruction I would use is to show them what a circle looks like on a flashcard. Draw it on the board for them, and also have them trace circles on a worksheet. For the typical learner, this would be enough instruction for them to transfer their knowledge and understand that the clock on the wall is a real object in the shape of a circle. However, for autistic learners, this becomes a different story. The circle on the flashcard is different from the circle on the board, which is also different from the circular clock on the wall. They are unable to apply abstract concepts to real life. As a solution, I created an AR app called Around. Around uses augmented reality to help children understand, investigate, and interact with shapes in their surroundings. The biggest benefit of this is that augmented reality technology is able to connect abstract concepts and make it relevant to their own life. For the typical learner, this can be a tool that checks for understanding. However, for autistic learners, it goes beyond that. It bridges the gap that exists between traditional instruction methods and brings abstract concepts to real life. Technology is the next game changer in education that will open up learning opportunities for children with autism. However, more support and research is needed to strengthen this field. We should not only design for convenience and entertainment, but utilize technology to incubate the future leaders of tomorrow. Thank you.